Welcome back to Bible Shorts, episode 108. Ten Lepers Sitting by the Road. Stories from Luke 17 and 18. Jesus is continuing to head towards Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. And as he was going into one village along the way, ten men with leprosy, a terrible skin disease, met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, show yourself to the priests. And as they went, their leprosy disappeared. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus said to his disciples, were not all ten healed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then Jesus said to the man, Rise and go. Your faith has healed you. Later on, Jesus told this story, directed toward those who were convinced they never ever did wrong things, who thought they were perfect in God's eyes, but who looked down on everyone else. The Pharisee and the tax collector. Two men went up to the temple in Jerusalem to pray. One, a Pharisee, and the other, a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, Oh God, I thank you. I'm not like other people, robbers, evildoers, people who do bad things. I thank you. I'm not like this tax collector. The Pharisee said, I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, Oh God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, for I am a sinner. Jesus said, I tell you that this man the tax collector, rather than the Pharisee, went home justified before God, forgiven. For all those who puff themselves up will be humbled, but those who humble themselves will be exalted. And on their way, people were bringing babies to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and bless them. When Jesus' disciples saw this, they told the parents to not bother Jesus and take those children away. But Jesus called the children to him and said, Let the little children come to me. Do not prevent them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. What did you see on the faces of those children? What do you think they felt about Jesus? Now, our next story is one that's in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. It is a story of a young man who came to Jesus with a very important question. But only the book of Matthew tells us he was young and all three say he was rich, but only in Luke does he tell us he was extremely rich. And Luke alone says the young man was a ruler. What does Luke mean by a ruler? Does he mean a king? No. In this case, the word in Greek, remember Luke is writing in Greek, the word Luke used as ruler meant leader, an official of some kind, someone with administrative authority. And 
the rich young ruler was probably a Jewish leader in a local synagogue or maybe even a member of the Sanhedrin, the Jewish court in Jerusalem. Good master, the man said to Jesus, what good thing must I do so that I can live forever with God? Keep God's commandments, Jesus said. Which ones? the man asked. Do not kill, do not steal, do not lie. Honor your father and mother, Jesus said. I've kept all these commandments since I was a boy, the man said. What else must I do? Jesus looked at the man and at his fine robe and sandals. But Jesus saw something else, too. He saw that these beautiful things were more important to the man than God was. Go, sell the things that you have and give the money to the poor. Then come, follow me, Jesus said. The young man shook his head and walked away. For it was true, he loved his riches more than he loved God. Then continuing on their way, Jesus took the twelve aside and told them, We are going up to Jerusalem. Everything that is written by the prophets about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. He will be delivered over to the Gentiles, meaning the Romans, people who are not Jews. They will mock him, insult him, and spit on him. They will flog him and kill him. On the third day, he will rise again. Now, the disciples did not understand any of this. Its meaning was hidden from them, and they did not know what he was talking about. Now, Jesus is even closer to Jerusalem, and he's approaching a city called Jericho. As he approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside, begging. When he heard the crowd going by, he asked, What was happening? And they told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. The blind man called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. People around him told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see, he replied. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road, praising God. And when all the people saw it, they also praised God. Now, one little fact that's interesting is that this was the first time in Luke's gospel that he has someone call Jesus Son of David, which is one of the titles of the Messiah, the Messiah that everyone was waiting for. And the irony is, it had been a blind man who had seen that Jesus was the Messiah, Son of David. What happens next? Look for Bible Shorts, episode 109. A tax collector in a tree.